Hello and welcome to the guitar lesson for Antidotes by Faith Marie. But this song doesn't have any guitar, so I've had to sort of mimic the piano as well as I could. But if you want to know how this is going to sound, you can just click the link on the screen for the karaoke version, where I play the whole thing through. I'm going to start off with the intro, which begins like this. So that's starting off with an A minor hitting the first three strings, continuing up with B, C, and here you switch to C in the bass, and D on top. E, D, C, B, and F. Not barring, just playing the first four strings. And you have a ritardando right there in the middle. You play that twice, and then you have the verse. And the rhythm I'm using is this. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. And the chords are A minor, C, and F. You play those two bars four times, and the fourth time round, you extend that last F to last for double the amount, i.e. 8 beats, or 2 bars. We continue with the same chords, A minor, C, F, and add F, C on 8th notes just before the next A minor and C, and F. So that's F. Bass, top, bass, top, bass. A minor, C, and then add another quarter note on the C, just the top strings, so once more. Just add bass, top, bass at the end. A minor, C, E, C, F, E, E, B. Those two bars. Then F. So that's all the strings. Bass top, bass top, B, A minor, so similar the rhythm, but adding the D right there at the end, C, and now with the high E string, adding F and E, and then G. And let's ring for two bars. And then the chorus starts and we do the same four chords once more. But here on the G I'm not doing a home note, I'm just continuing with the rhythm. But I'm not adding any ornaments, no melody there, so just. And then you have the same four chords once more, but the difference here is that instead of playing F, E on the C, I'm doing E, F. And then after you play those four chords once more, you play the F and the A minor again, just like before. But here, on the C, you just play no melody, and then E major. For three bars and diminuendo, and end on this nice chord, which is 
an E add flat 13. So I'm just boring with my index finger over the first fret of the B string. For one whole note, and then F. So the first time round, just playing that rhythm. The second time, that. So the same rhythm basically, but with added open B, which leads us into a G chord. One bar of that rhythm, and then two bars of just letting it ring. And what follows is the interlude, and it's played exactly like the intro, except here on the F, we just play that rhythm, which you should be familiar with now. So, let me just play it. And the second time around, you extend that F to last over two bars, so you just... And then we've arrived at the second verse. So, here we do this. So, A minor, just let's ring. C, bass, top, bass, F, and that rhythm. You do that three times, and then you go back to the A minor and C. Basically you're doing the same rhythm as you did on the A minor and C, but over the F and E. And then for the second chorus, you begin by playing F with the melody. A minor with the melody. C with the melody, F going to E, and then a G let ring. And here we have a slight key change. We do a bar of 6-4, which means that we're gonna let that G ring out for 4 beats and then silence for 2. And we're gonna continue with F. A minor, C, G, so the same chords as the previous chorus, but the second time around we do this, and here the E major. Add flat 13 again. F. G. Two bars. In diminuendo. A minor. Ritardando. F. And a really nice chord, which this time is an A at flat 13. So what I'm doing is just open E, F, A, and C sharp. And I suppose if you play it like this, it could be viewed as just a flat 5. But if you want to play the full chord, you can just play it like this having the open E as well. And you let that ring for a while, and this leads us into the bridge with a key change. So, B flat minor. Just playing the power chord first, and then adding the octave, the B flat. C, by barring with the index finger, and then D flat. And then after G flat spend a two chord, which is G flat, D flat, G flat, and A flat. And the fingering here is kind of important, so you might want to check this out. So I'm playing the G flat with my 
index finger and I'm borrowing up to the high A flat using my middle finger for the D flat using my pinky for the octave, the G flat and then I'm doing this playing full chord down to fifth up to B flat E flat borrowing with my index finger down to fifth and then F and fifth then to D flat add nine So once more, I'm alternating between the melody and the fifth, which is that. So D flat, A flat, E flat, and then F on top. First three strings up and then one down, up to the fifth, or third, sorry. And then moving down to the octave on the G string, the D flat, and then playing the ninth and the fifth simultaneously. And then down to an A flat suspended two, and here I'm using my thumb in order to hit that A flat those two strings, the E flat and the octave of the A flat, and then F. So three up, one down, and then alternating. So I'm going from the suspended two up to the major third. Then I'm just giving myself a bit of a rest by just playing the normal chords. So B flat minor, bass, index finger, those two fingers, and those two notes. Back to index finger and then repeat. Two bars of B flat minor, G flat, two bars. D flat, two bars, A flat, two bars. And then you do the same thing once more, but in order to change it up somewhat, we alternate between normal chords and chords with a bit more color. B flat minor, and then B suspended two, or B flat suspended two. So just barring with my index finger, in order to hit that C. And then G flat and G flat add sharp 11 or flat 5. So once more I'm using my thumb in order to hit that low note, using my pinky to hit the octave, the G flat, the B flat and the D flat. Moving down my index finger to hit that C. And down. And then D flat suspended two and D flat. So that's played exactly like the B flat suspended two, but I'm moving it up to the fourth fret. And then normal D flat. And then A flat suspended two to A flat. then just hitting the chord and lettering. And then for the last chorus slash outro, we do this. On the B flat minor. So I'm hitting the chord, just playing around a bit. F, E flat, then G flat. 
hammer on with my pinky to that A flat. And that's quite difficult, so you might you might want to give it some time. And then D flat. Hammer on to the suspended four. The G flat. And then A flat. And here you can add the suspended four on that chord as well. And then down to normal chords. Just playing around, so just play whatever feels natural to you. And then you end on an A flat. And that's the whole song. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Then to D flat 9 chord, or add 9. Then to a D flat.